Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to weigh your fish. This is a good thing to know how to do because sometimes certain medications, for example, require a dosage that is a certain percent of your fish's body weight in order to work effectively. So in those cases, you're going to need to know how to weigh your fish. Also, it can just be a useful thing if you want to document your fish's growth for whatever reason. Weighing your fish should be done carefully though, because it can be stressful to them. To weigh your fish, you will need two buckets. Now I'm using two one gallon ice cream buckets, because this is what I have. You want to make sure that the buckets are dedicated fish use only buckets, so they have no cleaning residue or other harmful chemicals in them. A couple of towels will be helpful as well. And finally, we will need a kitchen scale. The scale I'm using is an Ozeri brand, and I can put a link to that in the description. I just bought it on Amazon. Basically, you just want a scale that uses grams. So now what I've done is I've placed a towel on the scale just to protect it from water, and I filled up one of my buckets about three quarters of the way full with tank water. And then in this bucket, I have scooped up my fish from his tank, and I just put the whole bucket in the tank and scooped him up gently with it. So now you're going to turn on your scale and zero it out. So now even though all this weight is on it, it still says zero. And then you want to pick up your fish very carefully. If it's a big fish like this one, you're going to want to use two hands. Just scoop it up with both hands, being careful of the fins. Then lift it up, and it's probably going to squirm a little bit, so hold it firmly but gently. Then transfer it to the bucket on the scale here. And it says that this fish weighs 94 grams. And then if you have another fish to weigh, just take this one out, put him back in this bucket, and then carefully dump this bucket back into the tank and scoop out your next fish. And sometimes after weighing one fish, the scale has not gone back to zero, so be sure to zero it out again before weighing your next fish. 